welcome back to our Math Ocho YouTube channel. At kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe, aba, mag-subscribe na para updated ka sa ating weekly lessons. And for today's video, we're going to have the second quarter summative test part 2. The coverage of this summative test is from week 5 to A. So, are you ready to answer? Good luck! Let's go! Okay, for test 1, direction, write each statement to if then form and determine the hypothesis and conclusion. So, let us have first an example. So, we have here example of the statement, vertical angles are congruent. Now, the if and then form is if angles are vertical, then they are congruent. The hypothesis of the given statement is angles are vertical, while the conclusion, they are congruent. Did you get it? Alright! So, let us have your number one. Statement. Points lying on the same line are collinear. Again, points lying on the same line are collinear. You are going to write the if and then statement. Okay. Then after you write the if and then, write the hypothesis. Okay. And write the conclusion. Alright. Are you done? Let's move on to question number two. Statement is, an even number is divisible by two. Again, an even number is divisible by two. Now, you write the if and then statement. Are you done? Okay, try to write the hypothesis. Okay, and then finally, you write the conclusion. Okay, are you done? So, let's move on to question number three. Statement. Cigarette smoking is dangerous to your health. Again, cigarette smoking is dangerous to your health. Now, write the if and then statement. Okay, identify the hypothesis. Alright, and then finally, write the conclusion. Okay, you're doing good. Now, for test 2, direction. Illustrate the following conditional statement in Venn diagram. So, we have here an example. The given if and then statement is, If you are a Filipino, then you are an Asian. Again, the given if and then statement is, If you are a Filipino, then you are an Asian. Now, the answer is this one. This is our Venn diagram. We have here the small circle and the big circle. So, the big circle is the Asian and we have here the small circle which is inside the big circle is the Filipino. Why? Because a Filipino is an Asian. So, this is what you are going to do. You are going to draw a Venn diagram based on the conditional statement. So, are you ready to answer? Test 2? Alright, let's go! So, this is our conditional statement number 1. If it is a rectangle, it is a quadrilateral. What do you think is the big circle and the small circle? Number 2. If you play violin, then you are a musician. Number three, if frogs live in water, then they are amphibians. 
Number four, if it is a fraction, then it is a rational number. And finally, number five, if it is an eagle, then it is a bird. Again, you are going to draw a Venn diagram based on the given conditional statement. Alright, so are you done drawing the Venn diagram? Okay, so let's move on to the next part of our summative test. So, test 3. Direction. Identify what type of statement is presented choose the correct answers from the given box below so you are going to identify ano ba yung tinutukoy ng mga statement natin ito ba ay biconditional converse inverse or contra positive so yun lang ang magiging sagot nyo itong apat alin ba dyan sa apat ang tinutukoy ng ating statement okay so let us have letter A the given conditional statement is If a figure is a triangle, then all angles are acute. Again, this is our reference conditional statement. If a figure is a triangle, then all angles are acute. Number one, if all the angles are acute, then the figure is a triangle. Is it by conditional? Converse, inverse, or contrapositive. You choose one. Alright? Next, number two. If all angles are not acute, then the figure is not a triangle. Is it by conditional? Converse, inverse, or contrapositive. You choose one. Next, number three. The figure is a triangle if and only if all the angles are acute. Is it biconditional, converse, inverse, or contrapositive? And finally, number four, if a figure is not a triangle, then angles are not acute. Is it biconditional, converse, inverse, or contrapositive? So, you choose one. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Letter B. Given conditional statement. If two angles have the same measure, then the two angles are congruent. Again, if two angles have the same measure, then the two angles are congruent. So, your answer you're just going to choose on this four different statement, which is, is it biconditional? Is it converse? Inverse? Or contrapositive? So, let us have number five. The two angles are congruent if and only if they have the same measure. Number six. If the two angles are not congruent, then the two angles do not have the same measure number seven if two angles do not have the same measure then they are not congruent and number eight if two angles are congruent then the two angles have the same measure I hope you will get the correct answer let us have letter C. Same direction, you are just going to choose if it is biconditional, converse, inverse, or contrapositive. The given if and then statement is, if a polygon is a quadrilateral, then it has four sides. Number nine, if a polygon has four sides, then it is a quadrilateral. So, you choose from the choices. Number 10. If a polygon is not a quadrilateral, then it does not have four sides. Number 11. If a polygon does not have four sides, then it is not a quadrilateral. 
And number 12, if a, oh no, a polygon is a quadrilateral, if and only if it has four sides. Again, you're going to choose if it is biconditional, converse, inverse, and contra positive. All right. Let us have test for direction. Given the conditional statement, write the biconditional, inverse, converse, and contrapositive statement. So, dito sa ating test for, kayo na ang magsusulat ng biconditional, ng inverse, ng converse, at ng contrapositive. Again, kayo na ang magsusulat. No? So, example. If two angles have the same measure, then they are congruent. That is our given conditional statement. So, ano yung kanyang biconditional? So, this is the answer. Two angles have the same measure if and only if they are congruent. So, we add the word if and only if. What is the inverse? If two angles do not, do not have the same measure, then they are not congruent. So, we add the word not. What is the converse? If two angles are congruent, then they have the same measure. So, pinagpaliktad natin ang pwesto yung P and Q. And what is the contrapositive? If two angles are not congruent, then they do not have the same measure. So, nag-negate tayo sa kanyang converse. That is the contrapositive. Alright? So, are you ready? Okay. So, let us have test for letter A. Given. If x is an odd integer, then x squared is odd. Again, if x is an odd integer, then x squared is odd. So, what do you think is the biconditional statement? You're going to write that in your paper. What is the inverse statement? What is the converse? And finally, what is the contrapositive statement? Right, are you done? So let's move on. Letter B, given statement. If a triangle has 90 degree angle, then it is a right triangle. Again, if a triangle has 90 degrees angle, then it is right triangle. So what is the biconditional? You write on your paper. What is the inverse? What is the converse? And finally, the contrapositive. Alright, let us have test 5. Direction. Identify whether the following statement uses inductive or deductive reasoning. Again, ang isusulat nyo lang dyan, yan ba ay inductive or deductive. Right. so let us have number 1. The figure he draw has only three sides. So, it is in a square. Inductive or deductive. Next, number two. It was the pizza that made my stomach churn. What else could it be? I was fine until I ate it. Inductive or deductive. Next, number three. My mathematics teacher in elementary is a maid. My mathematics teacher now in grade 8 is also a maid. Therefore, all mathematics teachers are maid. Inductive or deductive. Number 4. The color of eggplant is purple. And all eggplants are vegetable. Therefore, vegetables are purple. Inductive or deductive. Next, number five. It is wrong to hurt someone's feelings. And that is exactly what you are doing when you speak to me like that. Inductive or deductive. And finally, number six. Why is Sarah so mean to Janice? The only thing I can think of is that she's jealous. Jealousy is what, what's making her mean. Inductive or deductive. Right, and finally, that is the end of our summative test part 2 for the second quarter. So, thank you so much everyone. 
Happy learnings and see you next quarter for our third quarter. I hope you learned a lot in our lesson for the second quarter. Thank you very much. Happy learnings everyone!